What's up guys, Bajir here, making another vlog, early in the week this time, so we don't go until like freaking Thursday before I get to talk to you guys again. Um, but yeah, in this vlog we got a couple happy things to talk about, and one not so happy thing to talk about, but we'll start with the happy stuff first. So, first of all, again, you guys continue to just like impress me and make me so proud and so happy and grateful to have you guys as subscribers, because... The other day we hit like 2,000 subscribers on the channel, which is insane. It's awesome, and it's all thanks to you guys. So keep up the good work because you guys, I want you to know that every single thumbs up, every single comment, every single favorite, and even just the views at all makes such a huge difference in terms of you know helping the channel grow in popularity because whenever you guys thumbs up a video like that or respond to it like that, what it does is it puts it sort of higher up on the queue for when people search for videos. And so... You know, if somebody searches for Warrior PvP or Fury PvP or whatever like that, then my videos, you know, come up higher on the queue, which means that they get watched more and respond to, responded to more, and people can watch them and enjoy them and, you know, have a good time with them and then join the channel with us and hang out in the sort of Bajir WoW community that we're trying to build. And that's awesome, because that's exactly what I want. Um, I'm making these videos for my own personal enjoyment, because, you know, I think they're fun to make, but... One of the biggest sources of sort of satisfaction and gratification that I get out of this whole thing is the interaction with the with you guys. You know, I make a video and I am normally not very good about waking up in the morning. This is just this is just kind of an obscure example. But if I've made a video the night before, I am up and ready to go so I can read the comments and start responding to them as soon as possible because I love getting comments. And it's a blast to talk to you guys. Hold on a second, my computer's being kind of silly. Cut it out. I've got this weird thing where my, like, screen goes neon whenever I don't... Whenever it, like, isn't at this perfect angle. I need to get a f new freaking computer. Sick of Chill out. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> you gotta give your computer the old wet fur. I'm the boss. Anyway, but yeah, 2,000 subscribers, coming up on 2,100. You guys are making me so proud and so happy, so thank you. And another thing that's come as a result of your continued awesomeness is partnering up with TGN. So yeah, how cool is that, guys? Um, I think you've probably seen in some of the videos, or if you haven't, you know. I'm partnering up with TGN, which is a, sort of a gaming... YouTube channel, except I call it a channel, but it's actually got like a whole bunch of divisions. It's got like a TGN Rift, TGN Minecraft, TGN StarCraft 2, and of course TGN World of Warcraft. And probably other stuff too. But I'm going to be working on the World of Warcraft one, obviously. And what they're interested in doing is putting out cool, you know, informative, educational, or just entertaining content for people to enjoy. And that sounds good to me, and they offered me an opportunity to post on their channel, and so I'm definitely going to take them up on that. But that leads me to a question for you guys, is what would you guys like to see on this channel, and what would you like to see on that channel? And of course, since it's their channel, they're going to have final say on what goes on the channel. But, since they are interested in producing content that you guys are, you know, interested in, I'm sure they'd love to hear what you guys want to see on that channel, and what you guys want to see on my channel as well, because I'm interested in that also. So yeah. Let me know what you guys would like to see, you know, me post on the TGN channel, and what you guys would like to see me post on my channel as well. Um, of course, I'm going to continue doing, uh, you know, the Fury PvP stuff, the Arms Arena, the World PvP, just the random BGs and just cool stuff that happens to me in game, and I'll keep making the vlogs as well. And those, I don't, th I think the vlogs will probably stay on this channel, and maybe eventually I'll actually start moving them over to my Bajira Vlog channel. But I wanted to get this channel, you know. I wanted to get this channel going and have, you know, all the views and responses that I was going to get, you know, start off on this channel. Maybe I'll eventually move it over somewhere else, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see on the two channels, and also let me know what, if you guys would like to see anything new, or you guys would like to see more of something as opposed to something else. Because I'm open to those suggestions for sure, because I'm making this channel for myself and for, you know, being able to express some creativity and have fun with it, but... What it comes down to is that, you know, I love getting feedback from you guys, and that's probably the best part about all this, is getting the feedback. So I want to I wanna make sure I'm doing things that you guys enjoy, because I'm going to enjoy making the videos pretty much no matter what they are, because it's fun for me, 
And it's going to be even better as long as I'm making something that you guys are going to enjoy. So let me know what you guys want to see and where you guys want to see it. For example, um, I've had some requests for an ARMS PvP tutorial, which is great. Um, I'd love to make that, and I think I will. Uh, I actually consider ARMS to be my primary PvP spec. I consider myself an ARMS warrior over a Fury warrior. Um, I love making the Fury PvP videos. They're tons of fun, and you guys enjoy them, and I love that you guys enjoy them so much. Um, but I do consider myself an ARMS warrior, and I you know, do all my arenas as ARMS. I do, uh, well, not all my arena, but I try to. You know, Fury, Fury's kind of cheesy, I think. And it's bursty, but it's kind of a one-trick pony, at least in my experience. But anyway, I do my arenas as arms, and I do my rated BGs as arms. And although I'm not an arms pro, um, I'm not a Fury pro either. And some people were still able to get some useful information out of the Fury video, the Fury, you know, Mac grows and tips video. And if somebody can get something helpful out of that video, then in my opinion, that video is well worth making. And I'm happy to help any way that I can. And so, yes, I'll definitely make that ARMS uh, tutorial video, for sure. Something else I've heard uh, mentioned in terms of uh, something you guys would like to see is uh, more alt PvP. More PvP on my alts. And, um, yeah, that's that's great. I'd love to, and I think I will as well. Um, you know, I've got my Druid, I've got my Paladin, and both of which are just a blast to PvP with, you know. It's nice to take a break from the competitive scene and sort of just kick back and kick some ass on your alts, so... I'll do more of that for sure, guys. Um, also, something that might be of interest to you guys, um, I started a caster. Yeah, your, your buddy Bajira, you know, Dr. Melee over here, you know. Um, started a caster. Don't worry, it's not a mage. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to myself. I wouldn't be smirched my reputation by rolling a mage. Um, it's actually a warlock. It's a little affliction warlock. Um, and it's kind of fun. All you do is run around the battleground just dotting people up and watching watching the world burn. So that's what I do. <laughs> and it's fun. And I've been enjoying it. Uh, I need your feedback, though, on this. Um, it is a female character. It's a girl. And I have some ideas for what kind of voiceover I could do. Because, as you know, I do voiceovers for all my characters. And I do different ones. And I, although I have an idea of some voices I could give her, it'd be kind of weird just to do like a like a female voiceover, like you know, me trying to do my best imitation of a girl voice or something like that. So, if you guys have some ideas, you know, send them my way because I'm interested in hearing them. Because uh, I I have some ideas too, but I'm you know I like hearing what you guys think because this is like a I like to think of this as a team effort. Um, but yeah, uh, probably my favorite idea would be to get my fiance to do it. So yeah, how cool would that be? <laughs> I think it'd be kind of neat. Um, it'd be a good way for her to sort of, you know, get to meet you guys without actually having to be on camera, because she's still a little bit shy about being on camera. But I do want you guys to meet her, and I do want her to meet you guys, because I like you guys, and I love her, so why not? Um, but yeah, she's probably not going to do it. <laughs> to be honest, she's probably not. I'm going to end up doing the commentary, uh, which is why I want your feedback on it, because... Um, I have some ideas, but I also, got, I also want to know what you guys think. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking, and if I find an idea to be creative, and you know, something I could do, and I would enjoy doing, then I'll probably do it. And that gives you guys a sort of an opportunity to see your ideas reflected in the videos, and sort of see how your feedback affects what you see, which, is, which would be fun. And this seems like a good opportunity for that to happen, because uh, I've got some ideas, I'm not really set on anything. So, it could be fun for both of us, right? Yeah. So that's the happy stuff. Um, now we also have to address some of the not-so-happy stuff. 